All right, Babalos Rex here. And in today's video, it's my top five mounts of Shadowlands. So I decided to do it from everyone's favorite zone. A zone that actually had a lot of mounts. It would then be topped by Xerath Mortis because let me tell you, Shadowlands added so many mounts. Like, tons of mounts, by the way. Alright? I do have my notebook to keep me on track. I'm just saying, Shadowlands had a lot of mounts. Alright? So, I'm picking my top five. Alright? So, number five actually comes from here. Obsidian Great Wing. Alright? I'm going to take a look at the other ones. Because these gargoyles were great. So when Corthia released, uh, it added flying mounts for all of the covenants. In a zone you can't fly, but it's great. And, but you, then you can fly around in the other zones. That was actually great. When you got this, you were like, oh my god, I can fly in Shadowlands. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Goodness. And this one was my favorite color. I really like this one for the gargoyles. Uh, Night Fae had a cool one. Maldraxxus had the bug. And uh, uh, Bastion had the owl. The owl was, the owl was uh, good. So the obsidian one, this is just. Um, oh, this is the renown one. You get this from renown. This one drops from the rare here. So this one doesn't technically come from here, actually. Most of them do, though. But yeah, this one drops from a rare here that you summon as a Vanthyr. Uh, this one you buy in Corthia after you complete the achievement. You know, what I did to buy all these, I just uh, swapped the Covenant on my main character and I just <clears throat> bought them all. And he had all the Stygia. Cost a thousand Stygia. And then this one is the one you earn from doing your Covenant campaign and doing the special thing. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. That's number five. The Gargoyles. Alright, because I was the Venthyr. Now, you may already know what number four is, but number four is removed. I've started adding removed mounts because I've gotten removed mounts now. In early videos, I had it. You know, so I'm gonna be real with it. But, I'm somebody who, even though I have some removed mounts, am fine with them being earnable again. If this became an RNG drop, or you had to do faded raids, like, just load up the difficulty and just do it solo or whatever. I think that's fine. I don't really care. I, I wanted it, so I did it. There was a whole LFR controversy. And I thought it should have been fine for LFR. But that starts a whole debate. And I'm not having it in this video. But I think it's a cool mount. It's my number four. And for that reason, I kind of want people to get it. But, let's move on. It was from doing the faded raids. It was from this achievement here. Let me just bring up the achievement real quick. Uh, faded the, uh, of the Shadow Lane raids during season four. Yep. So, what's up next? Well, this isn't the first, last time you're gonna see this on the list, but Shadowlands gave us snails, all right? But none of these, they weren't called snails. They were called Heliocids. This one is a good one, not my favorite. This one is all right, definitely not my favorite. Boom. When I saw this snail, I was like, oh my God, Serenade. Beautiful. Majestic. One of the first snails I think we saw shown, because this is the one they showed when they revealed snail mounts. And let me tell you, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Protoform Synthesis. 
protoform synthesis. I have lots of guys that talk about it. This is Xerath Mortis. If you got downtime, nah, my stepdad's been working on this. You know? Oh, this one, oh, the silver one is actually fine. The silver one is actually all right. But yeah, here you go. You got plenty of mounts to make. But yeah, the snails are my favorite out of all of them. Definitely my favorite of all of them. All right, next up. All right, so these are more removed mounts, and this is my favorite of them. It's the freaking elementals, man. One of the the class mounts that the class mount that would be my favorite would be the shaman one, and it's because I really love these elementals. You know, that's why I got the Jaina mount, and these death walkers were super great. I've only got three. I'm missing one. And again, these are Keystone Masters. These are removed. But man. Man, these were freaking cool. You got the green one. You got the red one. My favorite, purple. Purple and gold. And then the one I missed. The black one. Forever stuck in my journal. If they're not gonna let these be earnable again, take them out of the journal or let us opt out. But I'm glad I got these three. There's plenty of carry groups to do it for free. You can always learn how. Uh, Keystone Master is easier than ever. I like that, it's good. If you're gonna do something FOMO, make it reasonably tuned for pug, for easy pugs. You know, like, easy. That's why I got all the new ones. Well, that I did through my guilds. Guilds are good for that. But yeah, this is... This is my number two. If we ever get Keystone Master Saddles... I'm hitting this one up. I even got the, the worm, the first one. That's the only one I missed. I'm sad. Alright, so... Honorable Mentions... I gotta talk about Gulper. This, I got this mount day one. Day one of Shadowlands. A fresh face Babalos. Blasting Shadowlands. You know, leveling with my old buddy. And then when we got here, I was like, I know where a thing is. Come help me kill it. And we got this frog. Is super great. Maybe day two. Just day one or day two. And it's a meme on the channel. <clears throat> the other one is uh, the Flayed Wing. I really like this Skeletal Chimera. This one, not so much. The Horn one, I like a lot. And then there's Blight. Oh my god, I can't even remember the dungeon. This this one comes from um, uh, the Covenant feature stuff. So, like, you can get it from the Abomination Factory, Path of Ascension, Queens. You can get it from the Seeds. Uh, Path of Ascension, you just unlock it and buy it. Abomination Factory is kind of the same thing. Ember Court, you can get it for free as a gift. It's kind of nice. Alright. But... Okay, let's talk about number one. What is my number one favorite mount that came out of Legion? Well, if you saw my top mount list, you may know which one I'm talking about. This. This book. I love this book. It took a lot out of me to get this book. Some people may say it's easy, and it did get easier recently. And I'm happy with that. I got it when it was in Shadowlands in the, fir in the first round of Legion time walking. I got this bad boy. And I am proud of it. And as it gets easier with talents and stuff, I'm happy about it. I think this is a good way to do a challenge, though. Um, and talents did make it easier, and I think that's fine. But yeah, this is a, ch a challenge. You gotta learn the fight, you gotta know your class. And you do it with all the different challenges. 
boom, you get a cool freaking book. All right, healer challenge for me is the most daunting. That was the most clutch. Uh, most of the DPS ones and even the tank one, especially depending on what classes you use. Um, if people ask me for recommendations, I can eventually I, I can do a video on that uh, as it's something. But yeah, I, I love this book. It's super cool. It was one of the mounts voted on. Um, I think I may have voted for this. I don't remember, honestly, but I love it. It looks so good. It flies. And like I said, it means it's a challenge to do, but it's always open now. It's not time gated, which was great. It was time gated at first, but they opened it up and I'm glad for it. And maybe they'll bring back the appearances. They brought in those class sets, which are super good. Um, but yeah, you can earn this right now. This is earnable. And it's hard to do, but it's all on you. It doesn't involve other people, because for me, a lot of group content can get easy depending on how you end up doing it. Whereas solo content is solo content. That's between you and the game. But yeah, anyways, that's my top five. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.